What's up everyone, it's Joey, Blush Response, and today we're checking out the Oxy Coral. Let's get right into it. Oxy Coral, what is it? It's a multi-algorithm, full-on synth voice for your system that does a whole lot of stuff. Um, and I find it very cool. You got a filter, you got amp envelopes, you've got reverb, you got chorus, you can do it all. It looks cute. Let's hear it. First engine is virtual analog. Got a pretty simple sequence going. You can plug in MIDI to it and get eight voice polyphony if you need. I don't really care about that. Every time you change mode, the knobs map to different things. You got frequency, harmonic, timbre, and morph. Got some hard sync. Some tuning of voices. You got filter. Got some Aphex style chords going. Filter envelope. I really dig that filter. You can also hold this for a chorus effect and again for a nice reverb. I like that verb. It's a good verb. I can get down with that reverb. If I had one complaint, it's that this clicking the encoder thing is at times fiddly. So we'll switch algorithms. And also you gotta memorize where these are, which can be annoying for some. So now we're on the second algorithm, that's wave shaping. Not a bad little wave shaper, and we'll add some CV to that. Put some more CV into the other controls. If we add some drums. Got some moody stuff. Filter can get piercing as fuck. But yeah, I like the sound of that. Can add some delay for Mimia phone. And I have used this in a few tracks already. It came kind of like right before I went to the US um, last month. So I haven't delved too deep so far, but I'm digging it. Let's hear the next thing, which is FM. Speed it up. Oh. 
working with the modulators. <laughs> That filter is pretty crazy. We'll unplug that TV. Yes. Yes. Boxy. All right, so I like that FM voice. Try wavetable. One thing that's good is if you're, you're using FM mode and you want to switch to mode, you turn it once, it stays on your mode so you don't accidentally like lose it. You have to turn twice. that reverb. Listen to that filter. Yes. Smoking. Dedicated filter envelope, really nice. Time envelope. Big. Next mode is MDO. Which is like multiple detuned oscillators, literally. So hyper saw, hyper square. I like how it shows you how far in the knob range you are. Next mode is string. Get a lower. Standard car plus strong. A little bit of delay. Some sharp transients on that. Yes. 
the megaphone rules. Bring that space up. Yes. Get that CV back in there. More CV. String mode's pretty rad. Ooh, up high. That huge sub is coming just from the string mode. How weird. Some surgeon like stuff. It's got that kind of downwards vibe to me. one is high hats. Not bad with the hats. Standard hats. It does the job. Ooh, big crushing. I'd use those hats. Next up is snare. Let's hear some snares. It's got some punch to it. Yeah, not bad. Next up is kick. This is going to be the ultimate test. Does the kick get my approval? Let's see. I'm very particular about my kicks. It's a big boy kick. So you got two models you crossfade between on all these drums.
This is the 909, I guess. This is the 808. Yeah, I can use that kick. That's a beefy kick. All right. So we got that going. Let's get back to the synth engines, because for me, the, the drum stuff is kind of a bonus. Uh, I really like the synth stuff. You also have a sample player. I haven't put any samples in this. Kind of lo-fi sounding in a good way. I dig that. You can overdrive it. Here's your sample selection. Actually quite handy. I could see a lot of stuff being used in here. Not bad. Now back to synth modes. Let's get back to it. You can also bring in this noise source. Filter's nasty. Reverb. Yes! Bass. Yes. And that's with no external processing. Let's FM that filter. And that reverb's giving such a nice atmosphere. Yes! Filter can be FM.
Yes. Plug the CV back in. Crazy drone. Let's hear that drone isolated. Ooh. Some flanged out chorus. Ooh. Love it. table. SMDO wave table. That's one thing I would say is something that's annoying is is sometimes I forget which mode is on which circle, but you can memorize that. It's not the biggest deal. That reverb. Yes. Put an LFO on that filter. Some trippy shit. I love it. Now with Mimi phone. Lower the octave. Oh wow. And that's one of the best things I heard in a long time. I love that. God.
oxy coral. So that was super fun. The coral really surprised me at the end. During the review, I was kind of thinking that its high uh, number of algorithms led it to kind of a symptom I experienced with the mutable plates and braids in that they have a lot of algorithms, but it it's, uh, doesn't necessarily go super far. Um, but but with that said, I was able to get a lot of range and especially with the sound I made at the end, I was beautifully surprised. That sounded incredible and I think it does sound incredible. And the addition of a full filter with envelope and amp with envelope, I think set it apart from other uh, digital voice modules like the plates or other things because you have controls for everything. There's no real menu diving. There's maybe some button combos, but it's not... Uh, not a headache you don't have to memorize anything except the algorithms and i appreciate that i appreciate the simplicity i like the sound i think the filter is especially fantastic that is a great filter that i almost wish there was an external input for because i like it that much um, so as always samples of this jam and every other jam i do are going to be up on my patreon if you want to support me there's a lot of ways you can do it you can buy my music i've got a lot of new stuff on my label megastructure for me and other artists links to that will be in the uh, pinned comment video description um, I there are affiliate links if you want to buy a coral you can do so they're gonna be in the pinned comment video description as well you can check me out on patreon where you can get samples learn from me see exclusive jam videos etc and you can continue watching don't forget to like and subscribe until next time peace out